Solo leveling was one of the most anticipated and hyped anime I was looking out for. And when it finally came out, it wasn't as hyped as I expected. And before you hate me, the OSTs are bangers. Holy sheesh, Hiroyuki Sawano outdid himself again. But now after the fifth episode, I really think the anime is okay. Kinda have a guilty pleasure with the fact that this guy is secretly living the dream from all of us by having a skill system in real life. But the way these episodes are built up does not make me want to look out for more. I don't have this curiosity surrounding mysteries to know what's gonna happen like an Attack on Titan for example. The animation is fine but nothing's like JJK's last season, but we only saw 4 episodes yet. And I'm telling this because this is animated by MAPPA, right? I want to criticize the fact that Sang Ji Woo wants to earn a lot of money from his job to pay for his mother's treatment. I as a viewer barely know the mom. I have no connection to the mother except for... <laughs> Sorry. I have no connection to the mother, the protagonist, nor to the bond they share between each other. I don't even know if they love each other. They convey really badly that he is working hard for his mother and in a matter of fact I feel like I am missing out on a bigger plot. Which on the other hand makes it kinda interesting too right because I don't know exactly where this show is leading me towards and this again raises the curiosity bar. Another thing I like to complain about, it's just a small thing. I still don't get how he was struggling for 3 hours against this poison tooth giant desert centipede cream pot. Um, he ain't humanity's strongest soldier. He literally called humanity's weakest soldier and manages to run 3 hours on sand against this level 99 raid boss? Bro. But let's be real here, there might be certain rules I don't get yet as a viewer and his body is stronger in that other dimension or time works differently wherever he was teleported to. So this visualization did not deliver as immersive as I would like it to, but this one is just a small critique point. All of these little nuances to the side, I feel like the whole atmosphere of the show feels kind of cold and empty. If that is what they are going for, they achieved it, but it might have not appealed to me then. I mean, it kind of makes sense too because like the title is called Solo Leveling. The fourth episode was probably the greatest of all because we finally saw the main character finish off this giant beast with one blast so the other only needed to do the rest and we saw a glimpse of what you might call a hero who got slowly into shape. I really think this show is okay but not bad or anything and there are also a lot of episodes left to prove me wrong right and it might actually get way more interesting and raises a curiosity bar. The further it continues. I'm very open about this anime and I'm looking forward to what this anime has to offer in the future. But it simply didn't deliver it for me yet. Maybe it's just me, I'm still gonna enjoy and watch it, but I'm also excited where this leads me towards. Sometimes I just feel like, this feels like I wrote this when I was 14, 15, 16 years old and I lived my own fantasies which I wish, which I wish I would like to have in real life, you know. Because I don't see any any depth is missing and, and it might only feel like that because we're just 4 episodes in and you're not even introduced to the world properly, like you know nothing. And by the way, have you heard about this controversy that surrounds like solo leveling right now? Because like there was this studio PPPURI whatever and they were left out in the post credits. What the hell? I'm also excited where this leads me towards. I hope you can live with my thoughts and I wish you a wonderful day. Let me know your opinions, leave a like in the comment and you know what the rest. Yeah.